here are some of the things that I'm feeding to the chickens. I'm going to take the um, chicken feed and I'm going to put it in an aluminum trash can. And as you can see, I have sunflower seeds and I use those mainly for the ducks. And then I feed both the chickens and the ducks a layer feed. And then I mix in cat, cat food, which I have in the garage. I give that to the chickens in the winter time for extra protein. Chickens, I'm giving them the pumpkins. I'll break them open and give the seeds to them. I pick these up off the side of the road and, and I put it all in an aluminum can that keeps the critters out and bugs. Um, one time we had corn and we had some mites or something in the corn because I put it underneath my house. So this is what I use for the cats, and I just place it in a storage container, and I have cups in there that I use to feed it to the chickens. And I only do this in the winter time just to give them some extra protein because they're not getting the normal bugs. Hey girls! And as you can see, they have strip this bare right here the, the ground they push it all down this is kind of on a slope and so they push it all down and it actually goes through the hardware cloth and on the other side of that you see I have the shovel and I can get really good soil over there so I'm about to add I pick these up on the side of the road people stuff all their leaves in it and then it's a nice degradable bag and I actually put that down you can see I have some right there that have started breaking down and I usually cover them up with the leaves and there you go I just leave them like that and the girls have a great time getting on top of the pile they play top of the mountain and get on the top and scratch it all down and as you can see I put all of those leaves the other day in a pile right here they're all gone so I did put one of the bags underneath the brick I found out that the leaves in those bags are chestnut leaves and the leaves are great but the chestnut has spurs on them the nut itself I guess the casing and so I've had to come back through here and pick those up so that the chickens don't step on them and get thorns in their feet so what I'm going to do this winter is get my pots ready for planting I'm going to use this soil that's down here and I've saved pots and I'm just going to dig to the bottom of compost that's here and pull it out and put it in the pots and let it sit over the winter time before I plant my seeds in it. I wanted to show what I'm doing. You can see the girls are loving the hole. But what I'm doing is taking the pots and taking these little seed starters and I'm filling them up as well. And this isn't what you would consider great soil, seed starting soil but it will break down over the winter and make great seed starting soil. So right here, you can see this was a whole tree root that has been underground. And as you can see, I mean, it's just cracks apart in, in my hand and wet, very wet. And so that's what's happening over time. And as you can see, there's cardboard in here, sticks. Ooh, are y'all fighting? Don't fight. And also, I'm taking boxes that we're getting and putting them in the garden. They will break down, especially if you put leaves on them. I'll show you one that we put down. You probably saw this in an earlier video, but as you can see, everything's sprouting under here. Actually a ball, imagine that. 
but everything's sprouting under here. But the worms, you can see some of the life underneath that's happening. And they're eating it. And it's keeping the weeds out. This is my duck house. And I'm so excited. I just opened it and look what I have. First eggs. Good job, girl. I'm so proud of you for laying an egg. Two eggs. Good job. Good job. And this is our duck house. We have lights on it. These are solar lights, motion lights. And then I have put plastic, but I've left a space so that they can breathe because ducks are heavy breathers. Of course, we have the automatic door on the front. And we built a ramp. They were having a hard time getting up that skinny ramp. So we put bricks on either side and they seem to have it easier. Another light. I just put hay in here. And this door flips up so that we can have access and fluff their bedding. And there is another solar light with more plastic for the winter time, although it's 76 degrees today. And on the front we have a lock and we just put a stick there in between. I'm Susan. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching.